while Islam is fall in love with the previous scripture, that's Old Testament and New Testament, while Allah is fall in love with the previous scripture, while Muhammad is fall in love with Christian scripture, while Quran is fall in love with Christian scripture, Muslim thinks they can, without any shame, critique the Christian scripture. Why? They've got better moral standards than Allah, Muhammad, and Quran. Recently, a Muslim caller expressed that he has a problem with the Old Testament passages in Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 28. And he expressed that how can, how can God allow allowed men to rape the woman and then ask woman to marry with the rapist? Before I make you to listen to this gentleman, I want us to remember Law of Moses is description of history. Law of Moses is only for certain time, for certain people, for certain places. And praise Lord Jesus Christ, Messiah comes and fulfills the law of Moses. But that doesn't mean in any form or any shape. We put the law of Moses under the bus. We read them in the context they are given to us. And we look at those things in the eyes of our risen Lord. Let's first of all hear the objection Muslim brings to forward. You know, why is it that the Bible says a rape woman must marry a rapist? Deuteronomy 22 verse 28. Deuteronomy 22 verse 28. Why does Bible say? Why does Bible say woman should be married with her rapist? Let's read the law of Moses. But before we read it, I've also, let me bring something up as well. Deuteronomy is written in the context where Lord told Moses, Moses is not going to make the promised land. And it is a huge sermon. Moses is asking people today to focus their hearts and their minds towards God. Love Lord with wholeheartedly. And then tells us laws those are the ways we live as Israelites. And in Deuteronomy chapter 22, Moses talks about some sexual laws. Let's read it together. Let's read it from verse 25. But if a man finds a betrothed young woman in the countryside, and the man forces her and lies with her, then only, then only man who lay with her shall die. Verse 26. But you shall do nothing to the young woman. There is in the young woman no sin deserving of death. For just as when a man rises against his neighbor and kills him, even so is this matter. Verse 27. For he found her in the countryside, and betrothed young woman cried out. Betrothed young woman cried out. She asked for help. But there was none to save her. Talks about if a man uh, finds an uh, engaged girl and then force himself to her, there is no one who heard the crying or screaming of the woman, then woman is not woman should not be punished. Why? Because there was no one to help. She expressed, she screamed for help, yet there was none to help. In this occasion, it is only men who deserve the punishment. And then let's come with me to verse 28. So this is the, this is the verse Muslims are having problem. If a man finds a young woman, who is a virgin, who is not betrothed, and he seizes her and lays with her, and they are found out, then the man who laid with her shall give the young woman's father 50 shekels of silver, and she shall be his wife, because he has humbled her. He shall not be permitted to divorce her all his days. If a man finds the girl and lays with the girl, in this occasion, is it, it says, 
they are found out. It is not she cried for help and there was no one to help. In this occasion, they are found out. In this occasion, she's virgin and the man who took her virginity, man who slept with her and she did not cry for help, man is asked to marry her. And in that, man is also giving her dowry for of the 50 shekels to her father and he can never ever divorce her as i read the verse in the context there is nothing in this verse implies she's being married to someone who falsely had sex with her because verse says it, they are found out and there is as we look at previous verse it says she cried for help yet there was no one help no one there to help in verse 28 and in verse 29, there is nothing in indicates that. So therefore, it seems to me there is a consent is given. And other thing helpful for us to remember, those laws are, it says, if this happens, if this happens, when this happens, this is the law. I find this is a bit strange that Muslims are expressing they have problem with that. Because we look at the Islamic tradition and then we see Actually, Muhammad had zero problem forcing himself to the people. That was there was no problem with that. Good thing is he was able to get away with not following the law of Moses. We look at the Islamic tradition where Muhammad simply tells, tells people to go and get the virgins. We look at the Islamic tradition where where Muhammad orders people to have sex with the wives of married people in front of their husband. We look at Islamic tradition, simply allows, allows for you to have sex with people who you are desired alongside of your wives. We look at Islamic tradition, who simply takes the value, dignity, and honor of woman away. That's not enough. In Islamic tradition, don't worry, is given in the intention in Deuteronomy chapter 22 it's 50 shekels to the father but in Islam it is given in the intention that man is getting access to woman's private part even there is a rape in marriage you marrying someone you know who can rape you day after day and you identify that person as your husband but Sad story is when Muslim condemns the Christian scripture, when Muslims express that they have a problem with Christian scripture, all they are doing is they are simply forgetting. It is the scripture Allah confirms, Quran confirms, Muhammad confirms. It is the scripture Allah falls, falls in love, Muhammad falls in love, and Quran falls in love. Yet, and also, different version of this ugly and disturbing version of this is being practiced by prophet of islam alongside of by followers of islam yet in somehow muslims expresses that they have a problem i am amazed that king of kings the one who created the whole universe steps into this broken world and then fulfills the law with his death and his resurrection. So that the, this broken world can sweet, sweeten their hearts towards my risen Lord and stand under God's grace. 